Good morning, it's wax oil day. So I'm just about to start steam cleaning. So let's see how it goes. We've got to get it clean first, and then uh, we're going to draw it all off, and then we're going to get the, uh, the wax oil underneath this thing. Get it sorted once and for all. While it's nice and quiet, we're doing it. Gonna add a bit of Meguiar's ultimate wash wax. Just do the roof or rear. Just gonna chuck a bit of that in there. And I'll water it down a bit. Right, that's all nice and washed now, so I'm gonna let it dry off for a minute. It's not gonna take long in this uh, this sunshine by the looks of it now. So I'll get an airline in a minute and give it a proper blow around. But uh, that's looking a lot cleaner now. All the chassis members, you can see all the chassis members nice and clean. And um, yeah, it's looking really sweet. And these are the connections I wanna get some uh, wax oil on. These ones here, and there's a one further back that I need to, that one there, that's the important one that's for the rear lights that I wanna get, so you can see the wires exposed um, in there. So I always wanna, that's the uh, places I wanna get lurked up with this wax oil to try and protect them connections. But uh, apart from that, it's looking pretty nice. They've got these um, big drain, plugs on the uh, grey water tank underneath so you can uh, wash that out if you need to. Mine's pretty clean, I've, I always like to use a uh, grey water waste cleaner, tank cleaner, so um, that's not going to be a problem for me at the moment at this stage of the game, but uh, it's all looking pretty nice. So we'll get the product out in a minute and give this thing a blow off. Okay, we're still hard at it. I've just been cleaning this exhaust uh, catalytic converter silencer. Uh, I've been using a bit of uh, soapy burrow pads, a little bit of tea cut on it, and it's coming back really nice. 
So it's looking proper nice. We're still sort of drawing off under here a little bit, really. Uh, I'll give it another little blow around in a minute. I've cleaned off the tailpipe, but all these members now looking really nice. Even the, uh, the, the sort of almost look at these, this like wizard deck kind of flooring. Um, so I've been like, polishing the underneath of it, all the panels up through. Um, there's the uh, fuel tank, plastic fuel tank, and you can see I've like, cleaned all around. I've cleaned the exhaust system all up the way through. Um, just just cleaning off the um, subframe with a bit of polish as well, cleaning off all this. And then in a minute, I'll get the wax oil and attack all them little places I want to attack. But it's looking, I'm well happy. It's looking really, really nice under here now. Um, yeah, you can see the wizard deck underneath shining. There's a reflection of my hand in it. It's that shiny now underneath. All these members, really nice and clean, right up and around my spare wheel. Um, I'm debating whether to take that down and rewrap it, but it looks pretty good to be honest. I might just put a little bit more tape under it. it it's nice and solid, so I know it's not flat. Um, so he's so yeah, I just might secure this tape up in a minute a little bit. Um, put some more tape around it. I might wind it down. I'll say, we'll see how we get on. See how we get on for time. There's the little wheel winch, but uh, yeah, it's looking proper, really nice under it now pretty happy with that. Uh, even cleaned in around the uh, automatic step, all the aluminium, uh, well, it's almost like a uh, galvanised -y kind of uh, metal they use there, but uh, it's looking pretty nice all the way through. Just warming this wax oil up now just to uh, get it a little bit more uh, fluid so it'll go on out of the can, just stand it in some hot water. So I've actually still got this black stuff. I'm just gonna whack around the black areas that I can see uh, a little bit of corrosion lurking. So we're just gonna whack that on like that. Clear the white areas. It's coming up around the front of this axle now, and the caliper. Along the axle beam. Places where I can see any rust or anything, I'm going to attack. That's perfect. There's just even a little black bar around this grey water tank that I want to uh, chuck a little bit on as well because there's a little bit of corrosion developing along there. Just on that bracket, it's not all the world, just a little bit of surface. I'm just going to put a little bit around that framework. And then I think I'm going to go and get my clear. That's the clear one. And I've got the little spout on as well so I can direct it right in around the chassis. In around there. Get it inside the chassis members. And then I'm going to come Oh, right, I need to do my brake pipes all the way along there. Right, so we'll do these uh, pipes all the way along. The mechanism for the grey water tank, the bracket, any electrical wires I can see running up through, on up with the brake pipes. There's the brake pipes, let's give them a good coating. Fantastic. 
that's not bad. Right, let's find that little, uh, oh, this is the one I wanted to do as well. See that, uh, them connections. That is the uh, little element for the wastewater. Give that a good uh, coating around there. We'll carry on with the brake pipes and that wire, we'll chuck something around there. And the other connector was this one back here. That one there is the one that I want to coat. Let's get it right in round. Totally encase it with wax oil. Look at that, the earth post. All up right there. Oh, that's absolutely mental. Right, I'm gonna turn the camera for a sec and crack on. And, uh, but you can see underneath this motorhome now, it's absolutely pristine. You see the reflection above me? Another place that I wanted to get along was these seams where the, where the floor joints are. Just wanna go all the way along there. Get all around them joints. As much as I can. Just keep that water out. When this dries, it'll be a water tight seal. It'll be mad. Right. Well, I think we're almost done. Uh, I've done all around the alarm system. Sirens at the back. We've been all around the hangers, the chassis members, and uh, I've even taped up, re-taped up my, uh, my cover on my wheel. But uh, now we're looking down through, I'm gonna quickly show you around. Um, we've done this with black, the brackets on the wastewater tank. We've done the use the black, swinging around all the chassis, all the brake pipes. Probably been uh, five cans in, I think we are, and filled all this up. But uh, that is looking 100% better. Um, I've even come around the front of the engine, the starter motor, and uh, done all the wires. Wires, the job to say, it's a bit dark, but uh, yeah, sure you, we've lagged it. Uh, the sump all around here, the uh, transmission is absolutely lagged in wax oil now. Little tank right down through. Oh, I was just gonna show you guys. Just in front of the fuel tank underneath is the, uh, the battery the cab battery and there's the uh, plastic um, housing for it, the little box for it. But so uh, yeah, we're all up and around the brake pipes have been lagged now with this uh, wax oil. And uh, we're pretty, pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with that, <laughs> say the least. I've done all my, I've polished all my waste pipe, cleaned all that up, even done the uh, mechanism for the waste, lagged it all in wax oil. And uh, yeah, it's still dripping out of the chassis here, look. So uh, that's a really good job done. It's looking super clean, absolutely super clean. And all this wizard deck is just shining. Look at the shine on it underneath. That's it from me. It's another wrap of a video. Thanks for watching and, and uh, hope it's inspired you maybe to uh, throw a bit of wax oil around your motor home. Bit of preservation. You can only uh, try and preserve it. But uh, yeah, this has done an amazing job. I'm well chuffed. Looks amazing now.